Hey there, it's Eric, back with another video. This time around I'm going to be talking about some books that relate to music and movies, and they're kind of similar. So what I've got here is my collection of the 33 and a third books, and then a series called Deep Focus, which didn't last that long. I've read some of these, but not all of them. In some ways, these are things more that I collect. Uh, some of the books I really liked, some of them I just kind of muddled through. So starting off with 33 and a third, Unknown Pleasures. So the deal is these books are like 30,000 words, and they're uh, writers, usually writers who aren't super well-known or aren't well-known for writing, uh, talking about a single album. This one's about Joy Division. Obviously, if you know Unknown Pleasures. Next up, The Ramones, The Ramones' first album. You're going to see a theme here. You know, the MC5. I mean, come on classic. This is uh, their debut album, Kick Out the Jams, which of course is one of the greatest live albums ever recorded. Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, and this is written by John Darnell, who is in the band The Mountain Goats. This is a fictional uh, account of somebody exploring this album, and one of the things I should say is these books all take uh, a different kind of perspective on the, uh, the, the subject. Sometimes it's really in-depth about the recording. Sometimes it's fiction that highlights the the um, the album. And then sometimes, like in the case of The Replacements 1, uh, it's about the author's relationship with that album. The Replacements 1 is one I don't have that I would really like to get because I've read it and it's fantastic. Double Nickels on the Dime. This is a great, great one because it follows the format of Double Nickels on the Dime being a collection of really short songs, and each song is highlighted, but it tells the story of the band and the album through highlighting that. And then finally, I've got Swordfish Trombone by Tom Waits. It's an interesting read. I, I like this one quite a bit. Um, I did have a couple others that I'd given away over the time. I had one on Big Star and one on uh, Flying Burrito Brothers. And actually, once upon a time, I did actually submit a proposal for my own for the Screaming Tribune's album, Dust. My proposal was rejected, but hey, whatever. So in a twist of, let's do something similar, this company, Soft Skull Press, started doing these deep focus books, which are very similar, but they didn't last. I think they published like some of them. The first one's They Live by Jonathan Latham, which is really good, and you should check it out. Here's the Death, Death Wish. The Sting, Bad News Bears, Break Training, which I haven't read. Um, if you can see that, the, I mean, they, they all have a trade dress and a kind of cool graphic thing. And I like the idea of, you know, 116 pages about one movie, one subject. This one I've read, it's pretty fantastic. It's uh, Heather's. So the They Live one, and I don't know if the legal, 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 lethal weapon one ever did come out. Anyways, those are some books. Um, kind of like that kind of stuff. Uh, I wish I wish there was a bigger market for it, and I wish people would do more of that kind of thing. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a short book like that about, you know, um, Wonder Falls or, uh, you know, um, any number of movies or television series or books or comic series or any little cultural artifact. We don't need like a 600-page encyclopedic look at it. Just, just give me, you know, give me 100, 100 pages on on a topic that's well thought out, well argued, that illuminates the subject, that does a little bit of digging, a little bit of archaeology, and gives me a perspective on it. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like all of these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Catch you all later.